All right, how's everybody doing? Um, this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time and just I haven't been able to get a chance to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some stag knives that I've got. Um, I believe this is all the stag pocket knives I have. I have quite a few uh, stag fixed blades as well, just I don't have time or the, the room to do them both together. But I figured I'd break out some stag knives today. And I got this idea from my buddy Doom Crew. He did one of these a couple of months ago and I've been like, I'm, I want to do it, I want to do it, but I kept getting sidetracked with, uh, you know how it is with uh, YouTube and and uh, receiving things and doing stuff and, you know, things are coming in, so you want to do videos on that. But, uh, you know, here I decided to get them all together and kind of go through them. And what we got is we got uh, some non-case right here and then the, the case on the bottom and then the big case up here on the top. So what I want to do is we'll go through the top first and uh, just give you a rundown of some of my case knives. Um, most of these are USA case blades, but um, you know, here's a Schrade. This is a National Knife Collectors Association knife from 1982. This is a Trapper. Um, I believe I got this at the flea market for like 40 bucks, but this is just a good knife. Uh, for 1982, um, you see what kind of shape it's in. Got some beautiful stag, and of course, if you ever use this or put it in your pocket, that shield will pop right out on you. But in the meantime, she's held in there good. Uh, just up there in my display case, we got a little speckle of something there. I don't know. Must not have stainless springs on this thing. I, I don't know. I need to polish that. It's a good thing about getting your knives out and looking at them. You can actually uh, see if anything's going on with them. But you know, it's a Schrade 1982 uh, NKCA knife USA and beautiful. It's a beautiful trapper. Very well made. Love it. Um, now this next one, this is a Schrade Muskrat. I do not think that this is made in the USA. A matter of fact, I very seriously doubt that it is. It's a Schrade. It says it's Schrade Walden, but it doesn't have a USA. I don't think it has USA anywhere on it. Um, but I like the uh, the looks of it, and you know it's a muskrat. You got a speckle of something there in the blade. Um, but again, stag is pretty phenomenal on this. Um, just a good looking knife. I like the shield. Uh, I can't remember where I got this to be honest with you. No clue whatsoever where this came from. But it's a good looking little knife and. Uh, well, this would be good in my collection, so I picked it up. Now, this next one right here is one of these Colt Split Back Whittlers, and this comes from my buddy Doom Crew Outdoors. Now, and I'm going to tag him in this video because I got my idea to do this from watching his video, but he had sent this as a gift to me, and it's just a phenomenal blade. Uh, look at the shield in this thing. Beautiful stag, thick too. Look at the thickness on that. Man that thing split back of course but it's just a phenomenal blade um let's open up all the blades I, I mean i open up all the blades on all these but uh this one right here i will why not and we get a look down in there and you see how it, it narrow it tapers because the split back design oh, man yeah he had sent this to me as a gift a while back With all the blades shut but yeah love it great gift this one here um i got it at the yard sale for five dollars if you can believe it. it's a bear and son muskrat stag look at this thing we got some glare from the light oh, but beautiful blade the only thing is i don't carry a muskrat often because look at the blade on this um it's the blade stock on it. Carbon steel, USA. You gotta love anytime you can get a, oh, listen to that. <laughs> gotta love anytime you can get a carbon steel blade match with stag. And you got your Baron Sun there. I actually bought this and didn't know anything about it. I bought it at a yard sale for $5. So I reached out to Baron Sun and these were made for Smoky Mountain Knife Works in 2010. This is a pretty well-made knife. It's got the, you know, your cut out there. 
got to cut out on each side so you can get a hold of the blades. Man, look at that thing. All right, let's skip to this here. This is one of them Sheffield knives. This is a Arthur Wright Sheffield, England Barlow. I think Pete um, over at Jersey Knife Guy got one, and I seen the video, and he told me about it, so I hopped on and ordered me one. I think I got this for fairly cheap. It was like 55 bucks, but I haven't ever done a video on it. I don't think I've even carried it. Um, you know, it's just a crudely made knife. The blade centering is a little bit off. I don't think it's touching, but if you look at the, you know, your pins, this is not a fine-tuned knife whatsoever, but... Man, she has got some pull. I don't even think I can open that like that. And she has got some walk and talk to her. And some fat stag. Look at that stag down there at the bottom. On this bare head at the bottom. Got some gappage right here. Nothing to cry about. Still a fully functional blade. Here's another one. Um, this is made with Sheffield steel out of Solid in Germany, I believe, but it's a Bulldog Trapper. Yeah. Bulldog hand forged, hammer forged. It says Solid in Germany down there. Beautiful Trapper, and it's carbon steel. It's got some pepper spots on it, but I picked this up at an antique uh, store very cheap. Um, English steel 1985 so this, this knife is from 1985 old reliable got the lab with the fish in its mouth but the stag on it also beautiful we got the acorn shield of course I really like this knife very well built too I believe Doom Crew actually has this, one of these knives from this same year. This knife is very well put together. <clears throat> All right, now let's move to the case blades. Uh, we've got this little pen knife here. I think it's a 76 model. Little case, little case pen knife. Stainless steel. Um, if you guys know how old I am, it's got a little bit of significance to it because I was born that year. But listen to that walk and talk. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah. Look at the stag on this one. Little itty bitty stag knife. This one here I got recently. I just cleaned it up last night. Um, it's an 87 pattern Stockman. Now on this right here, it had India stag first run i believe right here i got that off of there and just polished her up you know it's a three blade stockman there's your pattern number 53087ss whoa i didn't mean to bump the camera there but this thing is a decent little knife just a decent little stag knife very again very well put together i'm glad i had a chance last night to kind of clean it up and took a picture of it outside speaking of doom crew this knife right here i traded to him it's a little uh mini trapper with the uh sheep's foot blade or warren cliff i'm sorry not sheep's foot it's a warren cliff blade oh my gosh i ain't shooting that over it's a 5107W CV USA. So it's a carbon CV steel. Look at that. This is part of the Rancher series, but I would actually picked up this knife and he knew I was looking for more of these and we had made a trade. And I believe I traded him a uh, carbon steel copper lock, I believe, for this. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I believe. Well, we've done a lot of trading, so it's hard to keep up. <laughs> Well, let's just keep the ranchers together. So let's let's move these down. Let's let's do the ranchers together. Here's the full size 
regular trapper. This is a recent acquisition. It's in stag. The Manus knife here is also very well put together. This is the full size regular trapper. Man. I don't let this one slam because it's in pretty good condition. I mean, we got a little bit of spots that need polished out here and there on it, but I just keep roiled. 5254 CV with the case in the burnt in the bone there but look at that right down broadway right there boys just some beautiful stag on this and it matches pretty good you know sometimes you get it and it's not matched very well but you know i think they've done these they've done an impeccable job on this rancher series and then i've got the last one here i traded just to gabe over at gr knives made a trade for this he he was wanting a uh <clears throat> And GEC Urban Jack I had because I he knew everyone knew I didn't like it so he had one of these and I traded it to him <coughs> excuse me I traded uh, the Urban Jack to him for this one uh, but this is the uh, Rancher Series um, Sal Belly and of course I use it it's my favorite knife in the whole world <laughs> no. if you look here TB five three three nine cv down there it says but i got it i polished it and i wanted to start with my own patina on it and uh i just use it i keep it oiled lightly you know to keep her from rusting but i'm thinking about polishing it and retiring it kind of like i did my 75 in smoky valley sunset but i don't know it's too hard not to carry this this is by far just an impeccable i love having this i love pulling it out when Someone's talking about pocket knives. I pull this out and they're like, what in the world do you got there? Why do you use it? And I'm just like, hey man, if you got this, why wouldn't you use it? Why wouldn't you? So there's my three Rancher series in carbon steel right there. This one right here, I believe is a vintage stag trapper. I believe it uh, yeah, it has the V5207SS. And what it is, it's just a more polished stag. If you look, it's a lot lighter than the other stag, but still looks very good. Um, fit and finish on it's very good. She's a strike 13 right down the middle right there. Just another great, great knife. Again, all these, I, you know, I just love all of them. Uh, this one here was a Christmas present I bought myself last year. Um, you know, my boy Lee out at the flea market, he had this thing and he had a price on it and uh, he lowered it a little bit for me and I'm like, I'm going to go back and get that. It's a 1981 single blade copperhead. It is just a great knife, man. I thought about carrying it, but uh, I was like, oh, I don't know. We got a little bit of gapage right up there, but I don't care. Don't care one bit, man. It's a classic. Look at that from 1981. 1981 and in this greatest shape. 5149. Got the stainless steel springs. Man. I'm just stag on that one. I probably showed this on video before, but why not do it again? All right, there's all those. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and the last one, um, the big Kahuna, the big split back Whitler. You guys like double nail nicks? <laughs> Look at this god awful thing. But uh, you know, you're not gonna find any of these out there floating around. Five three zero nine one tested double X. I believe this was made by. Contracted through Bluegrass Cutlery for uh, Case, and I think they had Queen make these, but get a stag on this one. Split back. Good burn on her. Um, this ain't the easiest to open, by no means, so I may not even mess with the coping blade, but if you look at tested or Case Brothers tested double X Bradford PA right there on that one. Let me see if I can get this coping blade. It's just hard to get down in there and get it with if you ain't got no fingernails like me. There we go. Oh, 
So there's your coping blade. Look how big that is. It's a big coping blade. You're gonna whittle, I don't know what you're gonna whittle with this. But man, now I'm gonna have to oil it all up again, but we, we're easy with this one. She's got a little blade rub, of course, but these blades getting them in and out of here, man. Look at that. It's a hard one to, and I got the original box for this too. I got this off of Lee. Uh, I'd seen it out there for months and months and months, and I talked to him and talked to him and talked to him, and I went to him one night, and I was like, listen, I've got enough cash to buy it, but we're going to have to make a little bit of a deal, and believe it or not, he come down $50 on this so I could buy it. Um, he wanted to sell it. I wanted to buy it, so we made a, uh, come to a pretty good agreement, I believe, so. I ain't gonna tell you what I paid for it. You may, I may have said it in the original video I did on that knife, I just don't know. But again, we got the cross from Clark's Kentucky Knives. We got our coffee mug from TS Prof. You need shop sharpening gear. Head on over there and we got uh, Branch Manager Barry here looking over the stag, making sure everything's copacetic. Should send us a Kirby Creek Mo and have him try it out the way. I don't know, man. This thing's, again, you know, everyone <laughs> knocking them double nail necks. Look at this freaking thing. <laughs> Match strike long pull with a little nail neck out the front. Got the swedge. <laughs> I don't know. I had to have it, though. I mean, when you got this at your local flea market, you got to get it. You got to make a deal and get it, especially when you got the box with it. So, which one's my favorite here? Everyone, I, I think everyone knows my favorite is going to be this one right here. This is my favorite stag knife by far. Now, like I said, I got some fixed blades. I wanted it's a Bark River, but I might show that. And yeah, I got videos of them all up, so you can go on my channel and type in Bark River, Ultralight Bushcrafter, Big J's Knives, and you'll see it. You'll see it. I've let a couple people borrow it and do videos on it, so. But yeah, that's it. This is my stag pocket knife collection. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, I like I said, I'm going to tag Doom Crew in this thing and let him, because uh, he, uh, he's the one who prompted me to do this. So, all right, guys, take it easy out there.